Simon. Hey, how are you, hey, mate? Right? Long time no see. So is this your famous smuggle camera? I see. I yeah, this is it. Mate, this camera has been everywhere. How are you anyway? Oh, tired. I'm going to have to shoot, dude. I'm in Peterborough today anyway, but I can see it. Hey, you'll be in the vlog anyway. <laughs> nice to see you anyway, dude. Have a good one. See you later, mate. Morning. It's 5.30 in the morning. It's pitch black, freezing cold, and I would really like to be back in my bed. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big morning person. But what I am really excited about is that I'm going to Peterborough to meet a guy called Rob Moore. Rob's a massive property investor and entrepreneur. He's bought and sold thousands of houses. And he's got a podcast called The Disruptive Entrepreneur, which he's asked me to be on, which I'm really excited about. I've got three hours to go. It's pitch black. And I'm not looking forward to this drive. And we're here. Drive wasn't too bad, to be honest. A bit of traffic on the M6. Hate that M6. Right, so we're at Progressive Property. Let's go and have a look. Hi, I've yeah. got a meeting with Rob. Yeah, Simon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice to meet you on for this too. Ah, nice Please to meet you. Coming. Yeah, thank you very much. Alan Sugar. Bob Geldof. Is that Frank Bruno? Yeah, it is. James Caan, Karen Brady, investments in Peterborough. Literally, this guy owns half of Peterborough. Not even joking. Uh, do you want to come through? Yeah, come do. Thanks very much. There you go. Cheers, Hi, thanks. Hi, Simon. Oh, Hey, how are you? You alright? Good. Simon, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Going to okay. do the recording with you and Rob today. Ah, awesome. Can I get you a drink at all? Um, I'll grab a coffee, please. Yep, okay. Um Black no sugar. Okay. Thanks very much. Simon. Hey, how are you? Hey, you alright? Good. Nice to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Thanks for doing the interview. Yeah, no problem at all. My pleasure. Crazy fucking shit you I do. Know, mate. It's been a crazy year. Yeah. Crazy year. In there. Ah, okay, yeah. sorted. Fair enough, mate. Enjoy it while you can. You, you're still pretty young. Yeah, you? it's about 26. There you go. Fucking loads of time. 26. That was oh, the year I yeah. got into property when I was 26. Do I need to turn this on? Or? It's, it's already on. It's already sorted. Yeah, ah, it's Harry will just do a sound check. Then he'll get that sorted. You've got yours sorted. Right, right can you just catch five for me, please? One, two, three, four. Testing, testing. Yeah, right. Sam, can you just catch five for me? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So we're live. Hi, <laughs> we're live. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's Rob here. And hi to Simon's camera, and hi to Simon. <laughs> hi, um, you? So we're also recording the Disruptive Entrepreneur podcast. Simon has been called one of the world's biggest blaggers. <laughs> and I've known Simon for years, actually. I've seen you grow in your journey, and obviously we were just talking, weren't we? Yeah. You've attended some of my property events and stuff. Yeah, and crazy. Can't believe how old we're both getting. <laughs> oh, yeah, it feels like yesterday. Yeah. So, do you not get scared? Do you not like, you know, you're putting your camera on through to go to the mm. scanner, you know someone's going to ask you where's your ticket. Do you not like <laughs> shit yourself? Not really, if I'm <laughs> honest. Like, there's a bit of like, oh my god, you know, if I get caught, but... And does I that just, kind of like excite you? Oh, I'm buzzing, I'm right, buzzing. I'm buzz. Just make it happen. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, when you're, it's like with anything, it's like, like when I had the business as well, when something gets, when you can't eat, right? When you're literally, you can't, you've got no money for food or you haven't got food. You're in foreign land with absolutely nobody. You can't ring your mum up and say, yeah. man, can you drop me off a butty? Yeah. You know, you're there. You have to make you it. You get resourceful. Happen. You have yeah. to. You're a great example for people of getting yourself uncomfortable from time mm. to time. And, and, and have you found that um, that's a, a thrilling experience for you? Have you ever had any moments where you thought, why don't I just do something fucking normal? Yeah, oh, tight, like I thought that. I bet your mum says that all the time. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's like, she's like, what do you actually do? I'm like, yeah. I don't really know, to be honest. Yeah. But no, there's been more, like loads of times I thought, you know what? I just need to chill out a bit. <laughs> yeah. And but going back to what you were saying about um, what sort of drives me mm. to do that, I've always had the mentality since I was like 15, 16, that as long as my parents have a house with a room in it, 
I've always got somewhere to stay. Yeah. And every business, when I was in property and I thought, I'll go to Milton Keynes, I thought, if it doesn't work out, my parents have got a house yes. with a room in it. I've always got somewhere to go back to. When I opened the estate agent, I thought, you know, if I lose everything, if my parents have got a house, I've still got a room to go back mm. to. So the, the reward's always been greater than the risk. And yeah. I'm always about that. You know, if the end goal is bigger than the risk, it's worth it. Yeah. That was good fun. Thanks very much for that, mate. Appreciate Pleasure. it. How do you think it went, mate? That was really good, mate, yeah. Sweet. Cheers yeah. for that. How long was it in the end? It was just been about 50 minutes, mate. 50 minutes? I had to go Jesus. quick, yeah. That went really quick. It yeah. felt like, like 10 minutes. Well, that's when I think you know it's going to be a really good interview when you know, you're just sitting down with yeah. a conversation, it's not scripted or anything. You're just kind of like, you're in the flow and you're exactly. enjoying it. Exactly. I'll say bye properly this time. <laughs> so, take care, mate. Cheers, best. mate. All the best. I'll drop you an email back. Appreciate it, mate. Thanks very much, mate. Yeah. Thank you. So, podcast done. I've got like a three hour journey back to Wrexham. <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing if you could just click your fingers to get back there? And that drive home was horrendous, but I'm really looking forward to hearing that podcast. Ma'am? Hello? What's for tea? Yellow fish.